Can all of my celebrities please come up here? Come on guys, all my celebrities please come up here. Where's the stars? Because I want to introduce you all to them. Come on guys. Guys, this is Matthew Dale. Did you all see the episode in, uh, did you all see the episode in Doctor Who where he was, uh, I'm going to call you, he was Big John, wasn't he? Big John. Because Rusty was little John. I don't know why they stopped that. Happened. What else have you done, Matthew? Casualty, uh, Stella, Teachers, a film for Bob and Oak Crow, a film that's going to be released in September. I can't say it, another film out in a few years' time. There you go. Round of applause, Matthew Dale, please. Oh, right, this is my, my, I'm not going to say my mum, she's like a girlfriend to me. This is Pam Rose everybody, Pam Rose, she starred in a film called Star Wars in the cantina scene. 40 years ago Pam, so you, yeah she's one yeah, but Pam, what else have you, just tell me. Space 1999. Oh, wow. Batman. Batman. She's been in everything. And, 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 and. She's been in Batman, Superman three times. Minder. Oh, my God. She's been in everything. Space 1999. Real famous role. It's been all right. I've been showing Pam is a really good friend of mine. Let her round of applause. Pam does. Let's have my two Bond ladies, please. Because these two ladies are going in a yeah. bit because they say they're very tired. <laughs> now, did you all watch Hammer House? Was it? No, what was it? It was um. Which was you in? What was you in? Hammer films, was it? How many? Let's talk about Hammer House. Hammer films. Who likes scary films? Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. One million years BC. One million years BC. Are you using it? No, I'm good. So she knows oh, she was a sick black girl. Oh, well. yeah. and, and of course, James Bond. What James Bond? From Russia with Mervyn Thunderball. Yeah. Right, and so Martin Bez with everybody. Big round of applause. The lovely. I've got to mention this, I have got to mention this, because this lady, when I was about 12, I fancied the ass off of it! <laughs> I did, especially in Sinbad. You hardly had anything on. <laughs> the lovely Carol Monroe. Right, so, Sinbad. You can all remember that, can't you, everybody? Sinbad. What else then? Um, and it was a children's film too. But uh, what else? Um, I've done a few. I, I, I was a bad girl in Spider Man Me, and I was a good girl in Goody Two Shoes, and I was a well, a silly girl in Dracula AD, and I was a really stupid girl in Maniac, so I've done a few. I've done a few horrors and a few. I've done a few bits and pieces. I've been around. Well, that sounds awful, doesn't it? But I've been, a, I've been around a long time. That's what I mean. So, sorry. That's fine. Right, for the Bond girls and Martina and Caroline, big round of applause. Thank you. Right, come on, big man! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Spencer Harding. That's it. Come on, big photo. I thought big photo. Big photo. That's it. Put the photo there. Now, to towards himself. Right then, Spencer. I am not going to mention anything apart from Gardens of the Galaxy. We've all seen that, haven't we? Yeah. Um. What? What? What else? Come on, Spencer. You. Have you been to the show today? Yes. Uh, I started in uh, the Harry Potter world. This is a. Uh, Memorable. I uh, started as a werewolf and then I went to Batman Begins and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Bell from Randall Deadman's Cards. Started as Golden Compass, uh, uh, lots of Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, um, God, uh, what's it, Frankenstein, Guardians of the Galaxy, and other things. And it's, just, it's been a, I feel very blessed. Uh, it's a great, it's a great ride. 
I hope it never stops. And it's great to meet you guys. You know, I'm not going to meet you from the back of the building, am I? So it's awesome. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Join them. Simon Fisher Becker. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you want to see a wheelie? Right, yeah. Simon. Yeah. Okay. Next time we're gonna there's a little show, don't you? You're one man darling. So next time we're gonna probably do that. Anyway, uh, right. Harry Potter and of course Doctor Who. Where else have you been, Simon? Um, uh, uh, Puppy Love was last year. Oh, Puppy Love, Puppy Love. Yes. Uh, one, one foot in the grave. Oh. One foot in the grave. All you guys will have to now go and Google this and see all these episodes, yeah? yeah right, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. So you finish it back there. Our genius, Julian Seymour, please. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I told you to get your hair cut before this party, didn't I? Sorry about that's it, that's it. I'm gonna hand you straight over to him and he's gonna tell you what he's done, because he's done a lot as well. Hello, everybody. You, you may not know me, or you may know me, but I, I do tell you and stuff. So, uh, if you are really good at the porter button, you would have seen me in lots of really good movies. And if you like independent movies, you would have seen me in um, some small movies. Uh, I like what I do, and uh, I do what I like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You stand there, yeah. Right. Michael Ballantyne has been in... What's that? Martin Ballantyne. What do I call him? Michael. That's talking to Michael Edwards today. I keep getting his name wrong as well. I call him... What do I call him? Eddie Eagle Edwards. Eddie Edward Eagle. Whatever. He's fine. He loves me. Yeah. No, that's fine. Right. So, the most famous scene in the most famous Batman movie, and he's in it. All the posters, and he's there just walking through the henchmen. Why was she being in, sir? Um, before I did the, uh, the, the Dark Knight, I did the, um, the Golden Compass, and I played five different roles as choices, various choices. Then I did the Batman movie. Then I did two Harry Potter films, I did the Batman films, and then I did the Get Me Hallows Part 1. It's brilliant, so and that's why I'm here today. The uh, Batman, obviously, the, uh, the Batman, uh, the uh, Harry Potter films. So. I want to be in a Harry Potter film. Anyway, right. Oh, let's have a, a baddie, shall we? Where's Clem Sue? Oh, Clem. Why does this guy keep playing baddies? Have you all seen the Mr. Bean advert? Yeah. yeah? All the little ninjas on the roof. Oh, no, no, no. Clem. Put your hand in the microphone, just tell them the other bit about yourself. Hey, 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 I'm not a bad man, honest. Uh, oh, maybe I'm. Uh, I've been in a few movies, that's all, and that's why I'm here, I guess. Uh, Bond, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Wars, Doctor Who. You're not that sort of person, are you? Ah. It's just a few movies, that's why we're here, isn't it? We're all fans of the same, same stuff, isn't it? Sci-fi, comic books, and we're geek as well. Cool. Right, I'm gonna now... I'm gonna now... We had this big, bad wrestling star today, okay? And, um... No, it's not Lee Badley. Her real name is Paige. Come on, Paige. So, what's, what, what is it? So Cole Val. So Cole Val. So Val. Now, why do all these wrestlers have silly names? But I'm just going to, she obviously, she's come from America. She was well, very lucky. She, is it, you were seeing your boyfriend in Milwaukee? Is that? Yeah. So, um, we managed to grab her over here. So, if you're a wrestling fan, this is amazing. I'm just going to hand the microphone over. Okay. Hello, I'm obviously yeah, the token American here. Uh, thank you very much for having me, I'm excited. Um, if you're familiar with wrestling at all, I was with TNA or Impact Wrestling for nine years. I now work for Fight TV, F-I-T-E, check it out. And um, on behalf of America, I'd like to personally apologize for Donald Trump. Thank you. Yeah.
yourself a three force awakening guys. Boom, Sandeep. And David. Right, I'm just gonna hang the microphone. So, um, tell us about when you was in Force Awakens, yeah? Especially, were you two the ones who were actually running away? Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> well, uh, it was a, a really funny scene to, to film, and everything happened suddenly. It was an idea of J.J. Abrams that happened on, on the moment. Uh, at that moment, sorry, and he was like, uh, I need two guys, Sandeep, David, can you do it for me? I was like, we were like, of course, you're the boss. If we say no, we're out of the, of the shooting straight away. So, yeah, we filmed it a couple of times. We had uh, Greg Grunberg and uh, Carrie Fisher having a look. They love it. We love it. And hopefully, you like it. So, yeah, that's it. Good I'm actually a really, really strong diehard fan of Star Wars, so to be asked to be, uh, to participate was something else. So, uh, it was, uh, for myself and I think others, probably the hardest gig we've done. I've been doing it eight years now in different films, like people have suggested. But it, it was, it was tough, but the best gig we've ever done, so. And the fan is fantastic. Yeah, we've got a really good response back from that, so thank you. Star Wars, uh, The Force Awakens, I play a general basically, and I'm on the Star Killer base and to work uh, alongside people like Domino Police and it was amazing. It was, but it's a very hot day when we actually film that, and in those costumes, you can imagine, but in the middle of the uh, heat and stuff, you want to melt basically, but you know you're making movie history. So you just put up in whatever conditions, and you know the, the fans are going to support you, and, and fans on Star Wars. I, I can honestly say I've never seen such loyalty and support from the fans that you get on Star Wars. So I'd like to applaud all the Star Wars fans today. Thank you guys. Uh, and then we've got it's a bit of an unusual guest this one. Mr. Lee Bradley. Come on, Lee. Now, Lee is a Marvel comic artist. Everybody says he is sex on legs. Come on. This guy's work is amazing. If you've not seen it, come on. I'm Lee Bradley and I'm Jordan. Remember Twitter? Is it Twitter? Yeah, you've got to say that again. Come on, here. Come on. Come on. I'm Lee Bradley and I draw stuff. That's it. He draws some amazing stuff. Right then. And last but not least, we've got, we have got people that's not here because obviously they're very tired, etc. But I would like to introduce you to two of the biggest guys on TV at the moment. Um, very recent. And I've got to tell you a little story, okay? A little old lady, a little old lady was buying or on the phone to, uh, to me about three days ago. And she said, what is all this comic con about now? I want to bring my little girl along. I don't want to pay 16 quid to get in and look at bloody comics. And it's like, well my mum grabbed the phone and she said, well it's a little bit different, what we've got is this. We've got some actors there. She said, oh tell me some actors. They said, first two names. We've got the Beast from The Chase and we've got the Dark Destroyer. She said, bloody hell, I'm coming, I'm going to put my ticket. And this lady was 82, believe it or not. So brilliant, they sold me a ticket. Would you please put your hands together and go on YouTube. Right, would you like to say a few words to your fans? Yeah, I've been told not to smile. Uh, apparently it's, uh, it's just a myth uh, for me smiling. But the reason why I'm smiling is because I've had such a fantastic day today, meeting some wonderful people, and it's brought a wonderful smile to my face. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you very much. Uh, well, 82 years old sounds exactly in our fan base, uh, called Emma Grandy. <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited to be here because I saw it say pub quiz on the uh, notice outside, so where is it? Okay, and the, I feel we're going to have a big joint photo, okay? 
And I feel the one guy that deserves everything this evening is my very special friend that has been doing the website, and all the graphics, everything, and this guy never ever moans about anything. Please put your hands together for Mr. Mark Pennington! You're a superstar. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah. Right, and just before we have a big joint photo, it was somebody's birthday a couple of days ago. We're all missing happy birthday to Mr. Sean Wallace. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, ma'am. Just for saying, these guys, please come and visit them tomorrow, okay? And all that, all that, have a selfie, buy an autograph, because obviously this is what they do, and it's not every day you get to see these sort of people, do you know what I mean? Because they're always busy. So uh, this might be the only chance you get, you get, because there might be bigger and better things coming up in the future, and they might be flying all over the world, and they're not going to come and swing them again.